Hello, my fellow Kerbonauts. This is SAR Mortinian here with more Kerbal Space Program with the uh, Kerpolo 2 rocket, actually. Uh, so last time we left off, we had done some research, and I remember uh, mentioning that, oh, well, we could go to the moon now because we've got landing struts. But I, I don't want to do that yet because we haven't even gotten into orbit, and that's kind of embarrassing. So instead, I've got this set up. It's just a whole bunch of boosters on the bottom stage, which, oh, we've got stacked decouplers now. It's so much better. And then I've got a solid, you know, just good, and by solid I, I actually mean good. It's not a solid fuel rocket, it's a liquid fuel rocket. Don't, don't freak out. Um, and I've got some mystery goo observations to do. Additional science. All the science. Um, yeah, so let's just kind of see how this goes. See what I can't do. That's spinny. That's really spinny. That's that's a lot of badness right there. It's fast though. So I mean, I'm gonna get a lot of good delta V out of this stage. <laughs> and they're not overheating too badly. I was initially worried that some of these um, th these many boosters being too close together would overheat each other. Um, yeah, well, the funny thing is I'm actually kind of stabilized. Okay, and getting away from that, I don't want to go north. No, no, no. I want to... Oh, God, which... Is this east? That's no, west. Because north, west, east? Yeah? Yeah, I think? I'm gonna go... I mean, this is the direction I usually... Fl yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, this is east, okay. Jeez. <laughs> okay, yeah. Alright, so, I'm headed into orbit. Um, that initial speed boost may really have done just everything I needed it to do and more. Uh, not quite. Okay, well then. I'm also not at 100% burn! Yeah! That's the ticket. Burn. Can I, can I focus on my... Uh, okay. Forty-five. Once I get up to an apoapsis of uh, seventy-ish thousand, I can kill my burn, save some energy for the inevitable. I'm gonna go to eighty, just to be safe for the next burn that I'm going to need to do. In fact, I'm actually, I'm going to plan that burn. Let's see what my delta V is. Oh, that's not pretty. That's not pretty at all. Alright, well, I mean... I guess I could probably just start burning before that. I'll just, I'll wait until I hit 70 grand, and then I'll just start burning. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, guys. This so we'll shut down the engine. Get ready for ultimate burn. And... 70,000! Let's see how much I can get out of this. I've got, a, I've got another stage behind this, because I know this is just not going to be enough fuel to make it all the way. I knew this in advance, but I'm pr I'm really hoping that between this rocket and this little one, because there's not that much mass. It doesn't have to push that much mass, so it should be a strong enough engine. And it's a lot more efficient than this one, so I, I think. Then again, I might just be able to get in orbit with this one. Pretty sure that's what's going to... Oh, no. Okay, I won't. I won't quite... Oh god, oh, kill it! Oh god, that was horrifying. Okay, alright. Wow, that's a lot. Not as good to control. That's flying off in the background. Okay, so that one is going to fall back to curb and around here. So up here... Oh. I need an additional... 337 delta. Can I bring that down, maybe? 
230. That's not terrible, I guess. Estimated burn of 12 seconds. I can, I can probably make that. Okay. On my target, the next burn is in two minutes, so I will time accelerate up to two minutes. Oh God! Stop and burn! No, oh, I missed it. It's fine. It's fine. I'll make it. Everything will be well. Let's see what the goo does. Huh? I'll keep that data. Oh, I overshot. Oh well, that's. I mean, wow. There's a lot more delta V on this than I expected. Goodness. Well. Let's transmit some data home, shall we? Transmit data. Oh, 80%. I'm going to see if there's a difference in the mystery goo if we are in the sunlight. The rocket goes and sunlight. Okay. Turn off the SAS. Okay, no, same data. Let's transmit. There's not enough electrical charge. Well, in that case, um, really no point in staying out in space because I don't have enough electrical charge. Just stop moving. Stop transmitting. Then we're going to point ourselves into retrograde. My gosh, this is hard. All right. I mean, there's tons of extra fuel here. I could take it down and land over here. Let's try and do that. We can get it to hit. Okay, that ought to, because Kerbin moves that way too, right? Yeah, alright, perfect. This will be perfect. This will be perfect, as I'm coming down to land on Kerbin. Time acceleration. Oh, here's the Great Crater. I believe this is where the crater... Uh, for the, whatchamacallit, uh, the asteroid that came down and destroyed all life on Kerbin. Except for, what are these, Kermans, Kermans' lives. It did not destroy the lives of the Kermans. No, no. But it did destroy the lives of the Kerbosaurs. Kerbosaurs. Mm, science. It's what we're doing. Oh, you know what? I just realized our pilot never got out and did a report. So, we're going to have him do that. We're going to have him do a report when we're over land because he did one over water last time. I don't want a repeat of data. I want new data for bonus science. All right, and bam. I'm starting to feel like you should really get, okay. Well, I mean, this is probably the same one. I'll still keep that data. Still get back in the ship. At a later date, I'll get a better report. I'm gonna send Jebediah over here to the moon. The mun, pardon me. That's when we'll get this good data. All right, have this face.
right to retrograde. We should get a nice burn right over the engine. Come on. Time accelerate, come on. And there it is. Yet the goo is alive. This is a bad idea. See, th this is where you can tell that the Kerbal Space Program is a simulation. Because what I'm doing right now is having just no effect on anything. Despite the fact that it's a terrible idea. And the fluid dynamics of air would just be giving me all kinds of problems for this. But in Kerbal, it's fine. Also, parachute. <sighs> Slow down more! Yeah, I'm thinking, ideally, I'd like to land kind of in this deserty area, because if I kept if I kept going like at that rate, I'm pretty sure I was gonna. Well, actually, I might, it might have been good. Might have been good. So maybe I'm gonna land in some mountains. Uh, it's my second mission. Jebediah is not a very good pilot yet. It's fine. But now, the advantage we have over the last mission is we have extra fuel, so we can use our rocket to break. Maybe we won't lose it this time. to the ground now. Parachute's gone out. Everything survived. There's the shadow. Last episode I was talking about, I was wondering if shadows appeared at night, and they don't. But here's our shadow. This is how, it's a really nice, easy way to tell how close to the ground you are. Um, so, I mean, it's kind of easy right now, because good texture, but sometimes it's not easy. So, here we come. Start slowing us down a little bit. A little bit more. And kill it. Oh. Thought I was closer to the ground than I was. That's why the shadows are useful. Regardless, we made it. We made it with no electric charge. Alrighty then. Doesn't matter. We can recover our vessel and get our science. Got science 2.8. 2.8 science. Man, I tell you what. <sighs> so I already had that. Man. Wait, where's. if I like this. You know, where, where is that data we got from the goo collectors? What's this? Global communications and data transmission system has been designed to have a minimal form factor when stowed occasionally and tended to work and shift quicks to the only move required for optimal performance. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Oh well. Now we have been in Kerbin orbit, so the next time we will go to the Mun, land, and be awesome. But until then, uh, this is Mortinian, and you've been watching CASA. Please like, favorite, subscribe, do all of your Twitter tweets and Tumblr tumbles. I will see you next time.